here now. Um, I wonder how you've done at your end of year reports? I done I good. I done excellent. And I, I was like the top of the class. So it was um, me and um, t two other people that were the highest in our class. And, and we got so, and, uh, and my mum was really proud of it. Really good. I know it said that you're working towards greater depth and um, that's across all three subjects, maths, English and science. Is that correct? Yeah. Yep. Yes, yes. And how does mum feel about this? Oh, she proud. feels She feels <laughs> very proud of me and um, she she wants me to carry on like that. Excellent. So, so Nitsa, Mum, um, so before we had lessons together, um, what were some of your struggles and either you experienced, um, let's say, with Vanko's schoolwork or even his confidence? The struggles was with his confidence, um, reading books, mm -hmm. learning a new high level words. Yeah. yeah. And I, I know you've mentioned that he really struggled with writing good stories as well. Um, oh, yeah. Of course, definitely. And um, what was the main reason why you wanted to arrange tuition? I wanted because I want for him to has a good fu good future, to be in a good school. Mm -hmm. And let's say if you didn't have any um, lessons and you just stuck to what the school was um, was teaching, um, how would that affect his future prospects? It will affect that. Uh, I, for me, the study, the the schools are really really important. So it will help him to go ahead mm -hmm. in yeah. every every situation. Yeah, every aspect because yeah, every aspect. I guess yeah. when you're looking for a job, for example, you know, without good qualifications and um, good prospects, it can be really difficult to to stand a good chance. Yeah. Um, and how has it been for you helping Vanko with, you know, before these lessons? Was it easy for you to help with his homework or, or challenging? For me, it was uh, for true, for real, was really challenging because mm -hmm. uh, the, as I said before, that the the English grammar is completely different than Bulgarian one. Mm -hmm. So I can't really help him. That's why I choose you. Yeah, uh, and. Um, if Banco didn't get into a good school, for example, um, you know, how exactly do you think it would affect his future? Um, he's not going to have that much uh, opportunities mm -hmm. for his future. Yeah, the doors, they're not going to be open for him. Like, for example, the other kids, which they um, graduate for in a good school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Venko, um, how how has his um, confidence and level improved since working together? Um, really improved, yeah. um, and I really enjoy writing stories. Yeah, you you mentioned something about house points, um, and something happened at school um, and star of the week. Would you like to share a bit about that? Um, so um. Like I get, I, I get to be um, star of the week really often, and um, I, I get, I, I get to have house points really often, and I get to go in the golden star really often, stuff like that. Um, and what's been the main reason behind why you get more house points? Is it anything to do with your writing? Um, it's like sometimes we play games for warm up, um, like on um. With, for maths and then if we win those games we get house points mm -hmm. and do you think that your lessons has actually benefited you and and helped um towards getting these house points yeah uh, and mum you mentioned about parents meeting um after two weeks of, of working together yeah, um, about yeah. That. it was really surprised me because uh, after i think it was nearly two months after he started lessons we had a parents meeting and the teacher said that for that short time he improved a lot especially in english yeah reading and writing excellent that's really really promising to hear you know in such a short time two months um, yeah. what can actually be achieved um and what would you say are some of your goals for him let's say in the next um year or so i just want him to keep doing this to keep improve more and more 
I want for him to realize that this is really important and I want him to to do it with um, with uh, with pleasure mm. to yeah. work play, play, with pleasure yeah yeah I think enjoying what you do is so important you know I think um, if no matter how many lessons you have or how much you want it for them if they're not enjoying it it's not going to be something that would actually work out in the long term um, and Overall, where would you like his level to be, let's say, um, you know, a couple of years down the line? What would you like to achieve through um, working together? I want to see him in a grammar school. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And with That's the... what I'm fighting for. I mm -hmm. mean, yeah. with, with your help. Yeah, I mean, grammar schools are incredibly uh, competitive. As you know, it's, um, you know, so many people apply for them um, on a yearly basis. It seems to be uh, very fierce, the competition, in, in especially in your area as well. Um, that's why you need to really, you know, put in that extra bit of, of work. Um, if you didn't have these uh, or any kind of extra private tuition, do you think that you could help Vanco yourself? No, definitely no. Yeah. Uh, and Vanko, what's been your main experience working uh, with us um, overall? What has been some of your feedback? Um, I think that it's really good and I'm so proud that I have like a really good teacher like you. Oh, that's amazing to hear. Um, so um, really looking forward to continue working together, Vanko, for the next academic year. Um, I know that you're on holiday um, very soon, so um, really, really pleasure, a huge pleasure working together. Um, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you too.